So, got another video for you, um, kind of more along the lines of like a tip video. Um, basically what this is, is this is this bag, I carry this bag with me everywhere. Now I'm not going to get into the everyday carry EDC stuff that I carry personally. Um, this is solely for the dogs. Now if you, if you want uh, more of my personal EDC. Um, I'm gonna be happy to do that for y'all. Just, just leave a comment down below. Let me know. This is more gear geared more towards the dogs. Whether it's whether we're running the hounds, uh, we got Zeus or Shadow, and we're in Alabama, or we got Scooter and we're we're trying to find some birds somewhere. This bag stays in the truck or in the car, regardless. Usually in my truck because usually when I have a dog with me, I have a dog in my truck, uh, whether it's in the dog box or in the cab, Zeus or Shadow, they're right out of the cab, uh, or if I just take one of the hounds. I'm I'm big on desensitizing your dogs to everything. So I will take my hunting dogs, whether it's Scooter, you know, my bird dog, or any of the coon hounds, and I will take them, like right now where we're on strike, I take them to the hall. I expose them to all that scent that's there in the hall, all the people that come and go through the hall. Um, I take them outside, you know, where there's rabbits and cats and other dogs and just things that are in town that they're not gonna experience around here at the house. Um, you know, there, there's, you know, obviously there's rabbits and squirrels and a lot of stuff around here and where we hunt and everything, but there's not the magnitude of different scents. There's train, there's train traffic out back of the, of the hall. You know, there's all that, that come with that, um, all the different vehicles, all the different people um, and, and all that. So. I carry this bag with me regardless. Um, now I pulled everything out of it, everything kind of my, along my personal EDC stuff, um, just to simplify the video and, and kind of keep it down. I don't want to make a three hour video talking about all my EDC stuff because I can. I'm a big, big into that. Um, you know, I'm 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 a minimalist to an extent, but you you can call me a prepper. I mean, I just I I try to have a general gear, I've tried to have general gear that can get me at least through most situations. Um, because I've been in a lot of situations where I didn't have nothing and that feeling is absolutely awful. And I don't, I don't wanna do that. So, I mean, any EDC videos you guys wanna see, uh, whether it's everyday carry truck videos, you know, what I keep in my truck, all that. Um, I kind of hinted on it a little bit of some of the things I keep in my toolbox um, when I got stuck here a couple weeks ago. Um, if you want to see, you know, my personal protective uh, loadout, I guess, um, I'd be happy to show you all that. Just leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, but I'm done rambling about all that. I'm going to get into the meat and taters of this uh, everyday carry. I mean, this bag, it looks big, it looks full, but it's really, I mean, I bet it don't weigh five, six pounds. I mean, it's not a hey, it's not a 50, 60 pound rucksack. I mean, it's just a regular old book bag, Amazon bag, um, with a few, in my opinion, essential items. So we will uh, get into that here right now. All right, so we're gonna start at the back and work our way forward. Um, there's not a whole lot of items in this bag. I mean, it's pretty, like I said, I'm kind of a minimalist. Um, a lot of you actual min minimalists will laugh when I say this, but I carry you know, certain, certain things that, you know, I think are, are necessities. So at the very back of this bag, uh, I'm just starting and I'm pulling out as I go, um, an extra flat collar. Now this flat collar has my name, my phone number, and Jade's phone number on it. So if something happens, you know, they slip a collar, they break a collar, they lose the collar, um, whatever, whatever situation, it's always, I mean, it's just an extra collar. You know, it might be a little big for, you know, a small dog or a pup or whatever, but it'll fit, in my opinion, that'll fit any dog if I need to. I carry a pocket knife, so if I need to punch holes in, I can punch holes in it. Um, next thing, I've got a bag of dog food. Now, this is uh, eight scoops, eight cups of uh, Diamond Performance uh, 3020. That's what I feed all my hounds, uh, exception of Sally and Hercules. They get extreme athlete because um, they're, uh, they're a little on the thin side or they, they get run so much. 
and Hercules doesn't stop. But anyway, this is this is two days worth of dog food for one dog. Um, so if something happens, we get somewhere, and I got one dog with me. Because typically, I only carry one dog with me, um, unless we're coon hunting. Um, but this is two days worth of food. So, and I put thirty twenty on the bag because you know my house dogs. Um, they all get, they all get diamond, but they all get different. You know, they don't, the house dogs don't need a 30-20. They don't need a performance. That's diamond performance. Um, so in here, last part, last thing in this bag, on this big part of the bag is, this is a med kit. This is a personal med kit. Um, I'm not gonna get into it. Um, it's just a, uh, just a quick med kit. You get them on Amazon with a bottle of uh, hand sanitizer flip to it. Um, I'm not gonna get into that. If you guys want me to get into, um, like I said, personal medical, and all that stuff, uh, leave a comment down below and, and I'll do more of a everyday carry, personal everyday carry. So there's just the med kit. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of nice stuff here, some gauze, you know, good stuff to have, you know, band-aids, whatever. So if you guys want more on that, let me know. So that wraps up the back part of, of the bag. Um, like I said, this, there's not a whole lot of stuff in here. Moving forward, we have um, three different sprays here. Um, blue coat. Um, <clears throat> any of you uh, farmers out there, you know, livestock guys, or whatever, um, horse people, equine people, whatever, probably know what blue coat is. It's an antiseptic. It's it's really, really good. It's good stuff. Same with Vetrison. Uh, this is antibiotic wound care. Um, this stuff is great. I mean, it's literally safe for everything. I mean, they make, they make personal, you know, or I mean, how, how am I trying to say this? They make certain things you know specific things but pretty much if you have a cut or anything on your dog a puncture any type of open wound this is good to have on it's good um and antimicrobial spray and then liquid bandage um it's just pretty self-explanatory it's liquid bandage so that wraps up the back part of it uh moving forward here we have this little front pocket up here, um, a brush, and then a top coat brush. Um, Zeus, he's a he's half border collie Texas healer. He's half border collie, half blue healer. He sheds ridiculously. Um, it's it's ridiculous. So I always carry two different brushes for him. Um, this usually I have a lint roller too, but I've used it up. But what I'll do is I'll brush him with one one brush, brush him with the other. Rake him off with my hand, drag it all of it, and then I'll rent, lint roll him. He absolutely loves it. Uh, he's a big baby with everything else. For some reason, he loves that. So I carry two different brushes. And then in this front pocket, I've got a thing of uh, AirPods and a block for my phone charger. I always carry uh, a charger in my truck, so that way, you know, you never know when you need a phone charger. All right, moving on forward. Up front here, uh, we've got a long line. Um, I don't remember if this one's... I think this one's 20 feet. Um, a lot of your parks and stuff, uh, your dog can't be off lead. I don't care if you've got, you know, the best behaving dog ever, there'll be a Karen that will throw a fit. So always good to keep a long line. Um, just an extra leash. This is a six foot, um, tack the pup leash. Um, I'm not, a, not really a fan of them, but I paid a lot of money for these when I bought Zeus and Chad their uh, tack the pup collar. So I use it. And last but not least, in this pocket, have a pinch collar. It's the Shadow's pinch collar. Um, this is actually, um, somehow, I don't know how this one got to be his extra. Um, it's a Herm Springer pinch collar. Um, if you don't like pinch collars, don't come at me. You know, we use e-collars, we use pinch collars. If you don't like them, you probably are not educated on the subject, so don't come after me unless you want your feelings hurt. Uh, so that wraps that up. Um, that's everything in the back. Like I said, I, I told you guys this is pretty pretty minimal. Um, but I'm confident with all this stuff here that if we need to be somewhere for a couple days, we're fine. So along the lines of the dog food, I have a collapsible dog bowl. Um, this will hold plenty of water, um, plenty of you know a, a feeding of dog food. You can rinse it out, put water in it, whatever. It's nice, it collapses down compact, and these are cheap. Um, they come with a carabiner on them, so you can clip them to you know, your molly webbing, or you can do like I did and you know, clip them on there, whatever. It's a collapsible dog bowl. I only need one, and it 
covers both both rounds of it. All right, so this little molly back here is a tearaway. On the front of it, I've got it's got uh, webbing through here. I've got just a little uh, poop bag dispenser. Got two rolls of poop bags. You just pull them and they come right out. You know, a lot of your uh, well, everywhere you go, if you, you all use the bathroom in public, you need to clean it up. Don't be a douchebag. Um, so I got this. I went with a tear away. That way, if I'm sitting here and you know your dog is over 20 yards and they get hurt, they get cut, whatever. This is my my med kit. You can see the the cross. This is my med kit for dogs. So if something happens, I can unclip this, tear away the med kit, and I can go over there and, and help you with whatever you need, let you have whatever you need. Um, tear away from the bag, and I've got, I'm, I'm running with this, not this bag. So inside this little med kit, um, this med kit is actually a kit I bought off Outdoor Dog Supply. Um, it's a really nice kit, um, but I wanted it in a tear away kit and a little more compact than the bag that comes in. The bag that comes in is probably yay big so i uh i condensed it down a little bit and kind of personalized it um you open it up you can see hopefully you guys can see that um what it contains so first things first um quick clock um this is just a uh, powder that you mix and you put it on and it's it's quick clock um we've got some bandage um We've got three different sprays here. Um, we've got a, um, this is a, a flea tick and insect repellent spray. We've got more um, wound and skin care solution. And then we've got an eye solution here, along with a pair of trauma shears. Now, something I didn't have with me, um, didn't even have at the house, that I have since, you know, got. A lot of the stuff I carry is, is from experience, from, from learning. Uh, Benadryl. Shadow, um, back when the strike first happened, first couple weeks of the strike, Shadow got stung on the mouth by some sort of hornet. I believe it was a sand hornet. And his face swelled up. I think, I'll see if I can find a picture and insert it here. His face swelled up huge. Um, we ended up having to take him to the vet. He was vomiting and it was just, it was bad. But we got him some Benadryl and when we got him some Benadryl, it, it helped reduce it a lot. So this little pack here, this is the brand name. Um, on that kit. I'll link it down below um, on, on Outdoor Dog Supply. Uh, but this is a pet care kit. It's got um, two PBT bandage, four three by three gauze, four two by two gauze, and four um, Q-tips, six inch Q-tips. Um, Q-tips are good for like this quick clock um, or whatever, you know, they get something, whatever, you know, you can use a lot of things with Q-tips. Um, then there's wound putty. Um, it's a, well, I'm sorry, wound, K, wound care, clay, speech impediment, acting up. Um, it's just a, uh, helps reduce infl inflammation, helps promote rapid healing, um, addresses bacteria at its source. So I don't really know what it is, but I left it in there. Um, it's got directions on the back. Um, you know, it's there if we need it, ever need it. And then we've got four packs of these uh, six by two adhesive bandages. Um, you know, there's a lot of bandages, um, there's a lot of gauze, um, there's a lot of things in this, this personal med kit that I keep it in the bag no matter what, just in case. It's kind of like a, an overflow for this, this med kit. If something happens, I've got more supplies in here. So that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I'm sure there's things I don't have that I need. So if you guys have any su suggestions, any recommendations or whatever, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, you know, this video is not just for coon hounds. It's not just for your pets. It's not just for your bar dogs. In my opinion, if you leave your home with your dog, whether it's to go 10 minutes or 10 hours, you need to have this stuff. Um, you need to have some sort of first aid. You need to have some sort of preparation for food, water, um, you know, I carry personally, like I said, I'm not gonna get into the personal, but I carry water, purifi water purification. Um, I can purify water for me and my dog if I need to with my other supplies. So that's something you need to consider. I know a lot of people 
you know, oh, it's a dog, we can drink whatever. But a lot of people also, you know, they don't want their dog to have just nasty water. Um, there's a lot of bacteria, a lot of things in, in just puddles of water that you don't want your dog to, to have, especially if they've already got um, something, you know, their immune system's already compromised where, you know, you're in a bad situation, basically. So water, purif water purification is something you need to consider. Uh, food, water, first aid, and control are probably the four things that I think are the most important about, you know, what you carry with your dog. You gotta have control of your dog, you gotta be able to feed your dog, give your dog water, and uh, be able to help your dog if he, he gets hurt. Um, be honest with you guys, back in the fall, <clears throat> I didn't carry this stuff. I would just carry, you know, a leash, a little bit of dog food, and, and a brush. And Shadow actually got some sand in his eye. We were in Georgia, and he got sand in his eye, and I was like, I never thought about it, you know? And I was just like, this ain't it, I've gotta, you know, I felt bad because I couldn't help him. He was whining, he was pawing on his face, his eyes were, were watering and everything, and I couldn't, I didn't, have, I didn't have any eye solution, I didn't have anything to help him with. So, literally, the second we got back in the car, we were heading to uh, meet somebody um, for uh, about a coonhound, I believe, probably. And I told Jada, hey, so get on the horn, and I said, let's, let's, find us some, let's find us some first aid for our dogs. We carry first aid for ourselves, but let's find us some first aid for our dogs because, you know, Shadow is not even two and he's been to over 10 states. So we travel with dogs. We always have a dog with us. And if you do the same, whether you're hunting, you know, it's a pet, consider, consider some items that I have here. Um, let me know what you think about it. If you think I'm stupid, hey, comment down below and let me know. Say, hey, man, you're an idiot. That's fine. I got thick skin. So let me know what you think. I appreciate y'all watching and we will catch you all next one. Oh.